Hello friends. In today's video, we are doing some Christmas decor shopping at the thrift store. I want to show you all of the goodies that you can find for a great price to craft with, decorate with, and use year to year. There's just some thrift stores that just seem good and this is one of them. So let's go see what we can find. I think I want to look for some candles today, greenery, tins, things that we can reuse year to year or just get really good use out of and just typically can be more expensive at other stores. So I feel like a thrift store is a better place to look for those things. I'm gonna start off in the basket area and this, I don't know what you would classify this. I always see a lot of wooden items here and I'm already seeing some things that really could look great for the holidays. Um, so yeah, let's just take a peek closer peek at the baskets because this is typically where some greenery is as well and wreaths so if you're into making wreaths or if you're just looking for a more inexpensive way to maybe repurpose one this is a good place to look like look at this this is all ribbon you could certainly jazz that up and make it look more Christmassy and let's see how much they want two dollars there's a lot of material there for two bucks. Not a bad deal. And then look at this. See the things you can uncover. Two dollars. It's a little broom with a bow. So even if you didn't like this necessarily, you could, like I said, jazz it up and make it a bit different. So we've got some summery spring looking colors there, but again, something very easily changed. This is a good color for Christmas. Oh, and it has a little horn on it. Four bucks, not too bad, considering you could use that a lot. Let's see what else we have for baskets. Oh, excuse me, yeah. sir. <laughs> okay, so here's another wreath that you could change out the florals for, but that's really pretty. These flowers look nice. I'm not seeing a ton more greenery, but I am seeing some more colors that you could incorporate for Christmas, for sure. And for $3, not bad. And again, a basket. Well, you guys know, if you are not new, you know how much I love baskets and how much I always recommend. To thrift them so when i look at this area i think of projects and really if you're going to the thrift store to look for stuff that is a great way to look at things with that type of eye like what could you turn this into that could possibly be turned into like a decorative sled or something for your porch sign for two dollars really great crafting price and there was something I saw over here earlier. What was it? Oh yeah, that little reindeer. <laughs> How classically 90s looking. <laughs> Three bucks. My daughter would love this, but I am gonna keep that here for someone else. This is the song that was on that one day we were here and you're like, what is this music? Oh, oh wow, look at these. Tons of little planter boxes for 69 cents. Definitely craft projects galore with that thing. Oh, here we go. Here's a cute little wooden decorative item. Only one, but if you grouped it with some other things that could look cool. All right, let's go take a look at one of my favorite aisles, and that is where the candles usually are and glassware and just goodies. And just as I said, this aisle always has the goodies. I'm already seeing some things that look awesome for Christmas. Jackpot, and this has lights in it. Let's see how much they want for this. five dollars i don't need a wreath but that is awesome 
I'm telling you the things you can find. Here's another one. Look, we've got some other things here, fabrics and such. Tea lights galore, a mask. <laughs> Oh yeah, see all these little cutesy things like this. Little wooden block, a dollar, which is not a bad price considering that probably came from Dollar Tree or something like that and you could paint over it. Um, okay, so let me rein it in here. I'm looking for candles. Let's take a closer look at that. So something else was ornaments, which I haven't even been keeping an eye out for, but last year I got two boxes of really pretty ornaments, which um, were in my decorating video for Christmas, but anywho, we'll look for those in a second. But I was looking down here at these planters actually, and then I saw this, a little nativity set five piece nativity set. I'm curious if all pieces are in here and it's two dollars. Should we see if they're in here? This is open. We're gonna see if they're in here. Try to set myself up here. Ooh, I think they're all in here. Maybe not. I don't wanna break it just to get it out. So far, I'm not seeing Joseph. Just Jesus. Oh, Jesus is not even in there. It's just his little manger. Okay, we're gonna pass on that. <laughs> See some empty candles. A little spoon holder. Look at this red glassware. You could definitely do some fun stuff with that, especially these two tall matching ones right here. Let's see how much they are. Seven bucks each. Not bad for $14. You could really do something cool with that. Lots of pretty glass. And what's this one? A little angel. I was just about to say, I have not seen any candles, and then look what I find. For a dollar, they haven't even been burned, and I just love this shape and texture. Awesome! It's a candle, but kind of looks like the Santa I got last year, the wooden one. Any price? Nope. Oh, it looks like Arthur. Gosh, I might have to get this. <laughs> Wait, what is up with this back? That looks weird. Oh, it was glued there. Oh, okay, glue that back. Oh. See a cookie jar? Three dollars. Look at Big Santa. Do what you want. This is a Santa. Old world Santa. Porcelain face and hands. This would be used as tree top or table decoration. Five dollars. Closer look at Santa. Look at those eyes and beard. I do like his pretty blue velvet robe. But do I need him? Not today. What is this? Lights. Little tray. So many things on this shelf, you can't even get to it all. Sorry. Really got to do some digging. Look at this little turkey. He kind of reminds me of the, the Wallace and Gromit characters. <laughs> if you guys know what that is. And if you don't, you totally should. Oh, what is he doing? But yeah, in terms of greenery, some good choices there. And then, oh look, I put that right on top of something else, but oh, 
that's a cute little basket. It's a little snowman. Pretty paint on it. A good faux flower option if you're into that versus taking care of the live plant. They certainly will last longer. <laughs> We brought back just a couple of decorations this time. First being this Christmas tree shaped glass jar. I imagine putting some peppermints in here or maybe even some greenery and twinkle lights. And this was only a dollar. And you saw me pick up these beauties, one red, one green candle. Love the look of them and the shade of them as well. So pairing these with a couple of also thrifted candlesticks that I use season after season. If you enjoyed today's thrift trip, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.